Hi there! Welcome back to the basic series of Vivian Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to navigate Vivian's user interface. The user interface consists of view tabs, menus, toolbars, and other elements, all of which we will examine in detail. Let's get started by opening one of the sample files that comes with Vivian. To do this, click the folder icon on the welcome screen, navigate to the samples folder, select the file, and click the open button. Every time Vivian opens a file, it does so in the drawing wireframe view tab. View tabs are found along the bottom of the application window and provide work areas for different tasks. We will stay on the drawing wireframe tab for now, which is where you'll work most of the time while designing events. Let's begin our tour of Vivian's user interface at the top of the screen and work our way down. First, we have the menu bar, from where you can access all of Vivian's commands and functions. It's important to note that the menus themselves and the menu items they contain will change based on which view tab you're working in. For example, as you can see in the screenshot, the Draw menu will not appear in the Guest Management tab. This is because no drawing takes place there. Similarly, as you can see in this screenshot, the items within the Edit menu will be different between these two tabs, because most edit commands from Drawing Wireframe do not apply in Guest Management. Most, but not all, of Vivian's commands may also be accessed by clicking buttons on Vivian's toolbars, which appear in the toolbar area. Since clicking buttons makes for a faster workflow than working with menus, you may wish to spend some time familiarizing yourself with the commands available. To find out what any button is for, simply hover your mouse cursor over it without clicking, and its label will appear shortly. Vivian's toolbars are dockable and floatable, which means that you can place and arrange them anywhere you like within the toolbar area, or even outside of it. To move a toolbar, click and hold its grab bar, drag it to the desired location, and release the mouse button to drop it in place. The grab bar appears on the toolbar's left edge when the toolbar is docked, and at the top when it's floating. To float a toolbar outside the toolbar area, click and hold its grab bar, drag it to the desired location, and release the mouse button. To dock a toolbar, click and hold its grab bar, drag it to the toolbar area where it will snap into place, adjust its position as necessary, and then release the mouse button. Just like menus and their items, toolbars and their buttons will change based on the view tab you're working in. As in the previous example, the Draw Toolbar will not be available in the Guest Management tab. Should you find that one or more toolbars are of no use to you, or perhaps that they are not useful all the time, you may show or hide them as you wish. To do so, right-click anywhere within the toolbar area except on a toolbar, and a pop-up menu will appear listing all toolbars available in the Current View tab. Toolbars with check marks beside their names are visible while those without a check mark are hidden. To hide a toolbar, simply click on its name. To show a toolbar, click on its name and it will appear at its last position. On the right side of the screen we have the Library Browser window, which contains Vivian's infamous library, comprised of thousands of items available for you to use. These items are separated into the following categories by the tabs at the bottom of this window. Staging, Tables, Table Sets, Chairs, Banquet, AV, Office, Architecture, People, Objects, and Manufacturer. To switch to a different category, simply click its tab. You may also switch between library categories via the library menu. To see what any library item looks like before you bother to insert it into your drawing, Simply click on it and a preview will appear at the bottom of the library browser window. Each library category may be searched for items within. To perform a search for a particular item, switch to the appropriate category, type into the search field at the top of the library browser, and press Enter. As you can see here, I'm searching for an LCD TV in the Tables category, but of course not finding any. However, as soon as I switch to the AV category and repeat my search, all the LCD TVs in the library are found. Much like toolbars, the library browser may be moved or closed. To move it, click and drag it by its grab bar, then release the mouse button. 
To close it, click the Close button in the top right corner. Should you later need to reopen it, click the Library menu and then click on any category. If you prefer to keep the library browser undocked, you may resize it the same as you would any other window. To dock it back to the side of the window, drag it there and release the mouse button while the cursor is on top of the docking marker that appears. On the left side of the screen we have Vivian's shortcut bar. While working in the Drawing Wireframe or Drawing Quad View tabs, you may add shortcuts for often used library items to the shortcut bar in order to easily access them later without having to use the library browser. In these view tabs, the shortcut bar is split into the same 11 shortcut tabs as the library browser. To add a shortcut to any library item, right-click on it within the library browser and then click Create Shortcut. As a result, the shortcut bar will switch to that item's category and an icon for the item will appear within. The shortcut bar's tabs will be different when working in other view tabs, as needed by the tasks meant to be performed in each view tab. For example, shortcuts to library items do not appear in either of the lighting tabs, since library items cannot be inserted into the drawing while working in these tabs. At the very bottom of the screen, we have Vivian's status bar, which constantly updates to provide you with useful information as you're working along. At the left edge of the status bar, we have the prompt line, where the word ready appears most of the time. However, when actions such as drawing, library item insertion, object modification, and many others are being performed in the drawing wireframe, the prompt line provides information about what Vivian is expecting you to do next. It's therefore a good idea to always keep an eye on it. If you happen to be in the middle of a command and you don't quite know what to do next, a quick look at the prompt line may be all you need to complete it. To the right of the prompt line, the status bar displays the number of currently selected objects and fixtures. While the next section provides a count of the total number of tables and chairs that have been inserted into this drawing. Next, we have the coordinates and height display, which will be discussed in detail in another video. Last but not least, the status bar displays the measurement system selected for the current file and whether any ortho or snap options have been enabled. The central and largest part of Vivian's user interface is the work area. This area will also change depending on which view tab you're working in, as each view tab is meant for a different purpose, such as drawing, lighting visualization, printing, event management, and so on. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the next two videos in this series, which will teach you the basics of manipulating the wireframe and the virtual view.